I just bumped my head on the car door, so it's a good opportunity to check out some red blood cells. Plenty of plenty of red blood cells here um, and of course you have to dilute it with a little bit of water otherwise the density is too thick. And for making a wet mount I'm going to add a little bit of water simply to dilute the cells a little bit. I do not want uh, to touch the blood with my tweezers. Okay, let's have a look at this now. And then everything goes uh, under the microscope, of course. And now this is what you see when you use the four times magnifying objective. Uh, the cells are so small uh, that you actually only see very small dots. So, of course, we have to switch to a higher magnification. This is now the, te uh, the 10 times magnifying objective. And now we can already see for the first time uh, small little circles. And these are the individual red blood cells. And yet, at a higher magnification, 20 times magnified, the individual red blood cells start to become visible. And you can also see, if you look very careful, carefully, you can see that they are a little bit darker in the middle. And this is because uh, the red blood cells are indented. They're flat. Yes, yet at a higher magnification, this is now using the 40x uh, objective and uh, you can see that the red blood cells are moving and this is because of the evaporating water um, beneath the cover glass and therefore the blood cells, they start to stream and uh, this is now using a time lapse. And uh, it's quite uh, nicely visible. This is bright field. Okay, so this is, uh, this is what uh, you can see just if you use a regular uh, bright field microscope. No staining, uh, no other fancy techniques. So any uh, microscope uh, with uh, a 40 times magnifying uh, objective should be able to see this. Um, but I do have uh, also a 60 times magnifying objective. Uh, and uh, this is what you see with the 60 times, with the 60x objective. Um, you can also see that some of the red blood cells are stationary and this is because they stick uh, to the glass slide. And you can also see that some of the red blood cells, uh, they stick together uh, in rows. Um, and that is dark field, okay? And uh, when they stick together in, in rows, it's called a rouleau formation. And uh, there are some folks um, out there who believe that this is some kind of a sign of any type of disease. They do some kind of live blood analysis. Uh, but uh, in my view, that's, that's all, all nonsense, okay? Um, observing blood, it has no diagnostic value. Um, it's uh, not scientific in that sense. Um, so if you want to observe blood, ob observe the blood because it's interesting to observe, but don't do any diagnostics uh, because it has no diagnostic value. In dark field, uh, I added a so-called dark field patch stop, and this uh, illuminates uh, the red blood cells uh, from the side. And uh, so basically the rings that you see, these are the edges of, of the red blood cell. And recently I bought myself a phase contrast uh, set and uh, this is the phase, uh, everything in phase contrast uh, just like before um, it's, uh, with a 40 times magnifying objective. And here you can see the rouleau formation, this, uh, the stacks of red blood cells uh, quite well, um, especially when blood starts to coagulate and when there is not enough uh, liquid or water there, they, they stack up and they basically uh, form, uh, yeah. They stack together like a stack of coins. Um, now you can see quite well that the central part is darker. This is like here. Uh, this is not because uh, you're seeing a nucleus because red blood cells don't have a nucleus. This is because the light is phase shifted differently there and therefore it appears darker. That's the whole point of phase contrast microscopy. Bright field, this time a picture and a little bit contrast adjusted. It looks quite, uh, quite nice. Um, the next one is a photograph of dark field, also contrast adjusted. And then of course uh, phase contrast, uh, a picture um, which falls, which are also uh, contrast adjusted. And when I say contrast adjusted, I mean uh, that I used Photoshop uh, to uh, increase the contrast a little bit, like this one here in phase contrast. Okay, so this is it. So we had a look at uh, red blood cells in bright field, also in dark field and uh, also in phase contrast. So the little accident uh, that I encountered did have a positive end in that sense. Um, I wish you a, a nice day, um, all the best, happy microbe hunting and uh, see you again next time. Bye bye.